So I'm actually gonna put it in perspective view. And this is kind of a cool design because we had these concrete walls as our exterior walls. Um, this is a partial exterior wall and then it becomes an interior wall. And what I always like to do, a lot of people say, oh, Wilson, I have a concrete wall, I don't need to do anything. And I'm like, not so fast. We still need decoupling and we need to, to you know, have an air gap there. So there's a one inch air gap. Uh, we used a metal stud, so this is a two by four metal stud. And then right here, you guys can see the uh, sway bracing clip. Let me uh, break this down for you a little bit better here. So I'm gonna open up some of my tags here. We got the wall, uh, this is the east wall, and then let's take off the drywall and the OSB and the insulation here. And we can kind of see how our wall is built. So we've got this sway bracing. This is an I, uh, Genie Clip LB. The ISO store sells this. It's the best uh, one on the market in my opinion. And this guy is uh, every 48 inches on center, we put one of these just to help with the swaying of this wall since it's not actually attached to our ceiling. So this, this wall always is gonna be a quarter inch below our finished ceiling. Now I say that again, the finished ceiling, uh, which is kind of crazy and we'll talk about the ceiling in a second. But then what we do is we, you know, we got our typical metal framed wall here and we're just gonna put on our first layer of OS, or we're gonna put insulation in, just pink bat insulation, doesn't need to be rock wool, um, it doesn't have to, it doesn't make a difference in the sound isolation, I know, I know, that's not what you've heard. And then we put on our OSB, so I like to do three quarter inch OSB as my first layer over top of everything on both the walls and the ceilings, and the reason for that is to hang acoustic panels, make the second layer of drywall easier to hang, all the good stuff, and then we do our final layer of uh, 5 8 inch drywall on top of that. Now you might be wondering, what in the world is this blue stuff?